Tonight, a new fight for a local teen. A hit in a football game left him fighting first to survive, then unable to walk and struggling to talk. But his family is not looking for pity. Instead, as our South Sound Bureau Chief Richard Thompson reports, they're asking lawmakers to protect other kids from the dangers of sports concussions. 16-year-old Zachary Lystead arrived at the state capitol in a wheelchair with his family to tell lawmakers his story and perhaps, his father says, save the lives of other kids who get concussions while playing sports. His purpose, I think, in life now is to change other people's lives. Zachary was a gifted athlete who was 13 years old in 2006 when he took a hard hit to the head in this Tahoma Junior High football game in Maple Valley. Zach went back into the game, but today his father told lawmakers how his boy collapsed moments after it ended. Laying on top of your kid for almost an hour waiting for a helicopter to land on the ground, and all you did was beg to God to keep him alive. Zachary was airlifted to Harborview Medical Center where he underwent two brain operations in just 10 hours. He remained in a coma for more than 30 days, and that was just the beginning of his struggle. It took Zachary nine months to say his first word, and his mother quit her job to care for him around the clock, constantly working with him to rebuild a shattered life and a shattered body. We know that if Zachary was taken out of the game, we wouldn't be living the life that we're living. So Zach's parents and a broad coalition, including the Seattle Seahawks team doctor, want lawmakers to change the way concussions are handled in youth sports. When a student athlete is suspected of having a concussion, he needs to be removed from the game. No ifs, ands, or buts. The Zachary Lystead bill also says the player cannot return to play until cleared by a licensed health care professional trained in evaluating and managing concussions. 13 I, zero nay. The Education Committee unanimously passed the bill, and then Zachary showed them his latest remarkable achievement the ability to stand. He tells them he plans to walk again. Yes, I can. I will walk. I know it's like some time, but I will do it. In Olympia, South Sound Bureau Chief Richard Thompson, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News.